Hello and welcome to the RS Technical Solutions Center. In this episode, we will be discussing the EZE4 control relay from Eden and Basic Startup. The EZE4 is a modular PLC that comes with a range of input and output modules, allowing it to be customized to meet specific application requirements. It has a user-friendly program interface, making it easy for engineers and technicians to create and modify control programs. The EZE4 PLC has 12 IOs and can be expanded to a network of up to 188 IO points, providing the ideal solution for lighting, energy management, industrial control, irrigation, pump control, HVAC, and home automation. Whatever your application is, the compact and flexible EZE4 enables control systems that are efficient and effortless to implement. After the EZE4 is installed, changes are easily accomplished through front panel programming, which eliminates the need to change wiring and minimizes downtime, giving you effortless control with the EZE4. The EZE4 supports a range of programming languages, including ladder logic, function block diagrams, structure text, and Eden's Easy Device program, which makes it a versatile platform for a wide range of industrial automation applications. It has built-in communication protocols, such as Modbus, CanOpen, Ethernet IP, which enables seamless integration with other automation devices and systems. We will be covering installation, loading software, and basic connection in this episode. For installation, first check the Easy e packaging for transit damage. Carefully remove the package in order to avoid damaging the device and be sure to check the information packet to make sure that the contents are complete. To mount the EZE4, install it in an enclosure, switch cabinet, or distribution board so that the power supply and terminal connections cannot be touched accidentally during operation. The EZE4 can be mounted either vertically or horizontally, and for ease of wiring, be sure to leave a clearance of at least 3 centimeters between the device terminals and the wall or adjacent devices. Now before wiring, please verify that you're using correct circuit protection and that an electrician or a person who's familiar with electrical installation rules and practices performs installation and wiring. Now for the correct wiring, each base and expansion module will be different. So please refer to the EZE4 manual for the correct wiring for your specific device. For starting up, before switching the device on, check the power supplies, inputs, outputs, and any expansion devices and ethernet connections to make sure that you're properly connected. Once powered up, if there is no program, the control relay will start in stop mode. All the information on the display will be shown in English if the device is configured with its factory settings. If there is an executable program on the EZE4, the device will start in run mode. The programming software version seven and higher is available for download. And it is important to note that the EZE4 devices can only be programmed with the EZSoft 7. The EZSoft 7 programming software is available for free. However, you will need to buy a software license in order to be able to use all of the software's functions. You can order an EZSoft 7 programming software license through RS by referencing RS stock number 71798313. Once you purchase a software license, you will receive a licensed product certificate that you can then use to request a license key online. This license key online can be used to unlock all software functions. This licensed product certificate will include a 36 digit certificate number that you can use to request a 24 digit license key online. To get the software downloaded, go to this link shown or check the description below for a link and click on Eden Software Download Center at the bottom of the page. Select the software under category. Then select EasySoft under Software. Select the desired version under Version. Finally, select the Download from the Download Center. This will place a download in your Downloads folder. You then run the EasySoft executable to install the software. If you install the demo version of the EasySoft 7, you can add a valid license key later on in order to unlock the full version. For any additional questions on the software installation, please reference Section 2.6 of the EZE4 user manual. To establish connection from your PC to the EZE4, there is a connection via Ethernet that can be used to access the EZE4 base device for programming purposes. The requirements that must be met in order to be able to access the EZE4 control relays are as follows. The PC must have an Ethernet port that is free and has been configured. The PC's Ethernet port must be on the same subnet as the EZE4 base device. The EZE4 control relays must be connected to the PC 
with a standard Ethernet cable featuring an RJ45 connector. An Ethernet address must have been assigned to the eze 4 base device via DHCP, auto IP, or manually. Once that is set, you can connect the eze 4 and the EasySoft 7 software and start programming for your application. Now we will do a quick overview on the software environment. First, drop in the eze 4 model that you are using. Next, select the firmware version that you are using. Then let's go ahead and add a digital expansion module. Now let's go ahead and connect to the Easy E4. Just go over communications and then go to interface and select a PC port that is currently connected to the Easy E4. And then you can go to IP profiles to configure the IP address on the Easy E4. You could then go to the clock section and input your device time on the EZE4. Now let's go ahead and get started with our first project. You can go ahead and double click on the EZE4 base. And you have your four options here. There'll be function block diagram, ladder diagram, structure text, and easy device programming. Let's go ahead and get started with the ladder diagram. On the left side, you'll see your common contacts and coils for the EZE4. Let's go ahead and input a normally open contact. Now let's go ahead and add a coil. You can easily start making ladder logic diagrams using the Easy E4. As you can see on the left side, there is also manufacturing function blocks, such as time function blocks, numerical function blocks, arithmetic and analog function blocks, open loop and closed loop function blocks, data and register function blocks, and other function blocks. Now let's go over structure text. As you can see on the left side, you can go ahead and select your assignments. It's as easy as drag and drop. Here you'll see similar function blocks as ladder diagrams. Now let's go ahead and check function block diagrams. Here, same process as before, where you can easily drag and drop. You also have the option to go ahead and change the operand from input, marker, output, and many other options. And the last programming language is easy device programming. Just as before, you can go ahead and drag and drop your elements into the software. And as you can see, it'll have similar function block diagrams as the other programming languages. We'll do a more in-depth future video on the software side, but for now, that will be enough to get you started with your Easy E4. To get more technical support on the Easy E4, contact us here at RS and remember to get your Easy E4 and other automation products from rs-online.com.